get back in the day. I mean, we can talk about this too, but I would always get so you know you're get you're excited. You're like, I have an audition. Now right. it comes up. I immediately sweat because I'm like, I know I got to set up so much. Like you know what I mean? I have to do <laughs> so much. That's what I'm nervous about, not the acting. <laughs> it's the crew work. Yeah, it's all the technical elements, and that's that's all why it's it's so hard for me to like get into the mode of it, you know, because then I say my line to the camera, and I'm like shit, shit, that wasn't right, you know. And then you do the that, and then and then and, and then you do this kind of thing, and oh, what just happened? What you know, the, the camera moves. So yeah, yeah. I did that once. I did that w once. I was like, you know, emoting whatever it was, and I talk with my hands, and I and it went do do do, and I was like. <laughs> I was so mad because I was, you know, sometimes right. you just did it. You're, You're like, yes, it. this is good. This is good. And it was like, boom. And I was like, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's when you want to throw out your, your laptop, cell phone, and, and lighting package. You're like, I just want to throw all this through the window right now. Because that was that was the take. And that I can't the... edit that away. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't take that away. One time I left it in. Needless to say, I didn't get that gig. But one time I was so frustrated and it was near the end of the scene. And it, but the whole thing did one of, the, one of these things. And I was like, you know what? If you can, if you're not, if that's going to be what, what does it for you, then what you really want to hire is a, is a, a, a DP. You yeah. want a director of photographer, not an actress. And go, go, how about, because I was like, it, it was what I wanted to present. Yeah. And that little shake, I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing this over because that's, that's the one, that's the one. And I'm, you know, not, to, or I think it was, I think it was mittens. I think it was my cat. I have two cats and they are self tape destroyers. Like oh, I'm sure jumping on things, they, swatting at things. They learned something in 2020 that because in the beginning of 2020, they were like, don't you have somewhere to go? Like I could tell they were irritated with, and they started fighting. And I was, I was trying to like analyze it. And I was like, they're fighting because I'm here and they can't get into stuff that they get into when I'm not here. So they're like angry and they can't take it out on me. So they take it out on each other. That was the beginning of the pandemic. It was like, don't you usually like, they were looking at me like, why are you here all the time? Then they got into that rhythm and they were like, you know what? This is what we would be doing and we're just going to do it. And I don't okay. care. You know, we don't care. And now during the pandemic, one cat has decided I'm, I know these lines. And so I'm going to, whenever you're acting, I'm going to just gonna chime in and destroy that. And the other one is like, when I'm auditioning for something that's musical, it's like, I know this song. I've I've listened to you rehearse. I know this song. And so it destroys anything musical. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. It's yeah. Never both of them at the same time. They each they each took a, a section of the business and went, <laughs> That's why I'll never make it. <laughs> <Freaking cat. laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't have that to deal with i just have my no. own yeah my own you know mess ups to deal with but yeah 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 it's uh i i do look forward to the day when in person is is more the norm again but i i don't know when never we're going back to, to be it. no it's never going to be because it's economic we're yeah. never going back to pre-pandemic anything in this industry that's never yeah, going to happen because that's they know cool. actors will do all that crap for free so casting directors don't have to do it saves them time and money done but i knew that i knew that at, in the in 2020 i knew all of that i knew all of that as i was buying stuff i was like the same way people who have nine to fives are like why am i making this three hour commute when I'm just, pro I've, I've proven to everyone, my boss and anyone else, I can do this from home and actually have a family life, which I'm totally for. Mm -hmm. I love the fact, I'm like, yeah, why do, like, I also knew, uh oh, <laughs> this is the end for it. Like, you Bye. know, like in one respect, it's cool, but in another respect, like you're, you're, 
audition question. In one respect, there is going to be a generation of actors who don't have those audition stories. Yeah. Don't have, or at least don't have as many of them. Because what are you going to say? Uh, what's your funniest audition story? Well, <laughs> I tripped over my stool <laughs> once I was walking and, and and I bumped into my ring light. <laughs> and, you know, like, there's no interaction. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like my yeah. funniest, my, my funniest story I got, I was getting dressed and I slipped on my bathroom rug. <laughs> and then, you know, like those. That, that is true. That is true. You know yeah, what I mean? There, there's there's going to be a generation that doesn't have those really great, oh my gosh, this happened in the room because, or they'll have less of them. They are, they may not have any of them, but they, but they'll definitely have less. Whereas you and I and everybody that we know, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> how much time you got? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, because the number of failures, the number of just like, what was I thinking? What was I doing? Right? Yeah. <laughs>